here today at Lyle Berman's Ranch and we are looking at soil characteristics and we're looking at soil health specifically on rangeland versus uh, hayland across the fence. Uh, across the fence we have long-term hayland uh, managed that way for many years. Uh, the producer decided to put that into a native grass stand so he recently uh, uh, seeded the grass after a couple years of cropping to prepare the field. And here we have native range that's fairly highly diverse. Uh, we've got uh, the mix of different uh, groups. We have shrubs and forbs and grasses and a pretty highly vigorous stand. Um, and we're obviously dry this spring, so it, it doesn't look real vigorous right at this point, but uh, if when some rain comes, we should have really good uh, vigor in the plants. So what, what is that different kinds of management and different kinds of plant community what effect does that have on soil health? And that's what we we're looking at. Those two factors seem to play a big part in what happens to the, to the ecosystem underground compared to what you see above ground. So what we've done is we've uh, pulled two soil cores, one on the long-term hayland that's been recently converted to grassland. And that's this one here nearest to me. And the one on that side is this native rangeland that has never been broken and always managed uh, with grazing management. So the first thing I want to point out is the the dark colors and we call that the mollic colors um, and the depth that those colors go to. You can see initially looking at these they look uh, pretty similar in, in color in this upper horizon up here but as you if you look closer you can see the dark mollic colors come down to on the rangeland come down to 10 or 11 inches pretty easily whereas on the the long-term hayland, uh, we're only getting down to about seven inches uh, with the mollic colors. So a difference in the depth of the mollic or the dark colors here. Another thing that you'll notice is a, is a change in the structure. Uh, and right away I think you can see these larger clods in this upper horizon. Uh, we call that uh, blocky structure or subangular blocky. Whereas over here, when you, when you break this apart, crumbles into small pieces and so throughout much of this upper horizon uh, when you when you open this up it, it breaks into what we call granular structure so this native rangeland has uh, granular structure almost down into this about six inch uh, level and it's starting to move into the small blocks subangular blocky blocks as you get to about six inches so not only the, the shape of these uh, soil peds uh, going from granular over here, nice granular structure to blocky, but also the size. So even when you look at uh, the blocks, when you do eventually get into subangular blocky over here, you can see a difference in the size of the blocks. This is uh, much larger, not as many pores in this soil profile here compared to this one over here. So uh, changing from granular uh, and gradually going into subangular blocky, whereas on the hayland, we start with subangular blocky pretty much right at the surface. And in fact, in a minute, we'll talk about another feature that we see in the surface layer of that long-term uh, hayland over there. Another characteristic you can see uh, it, upon looking at this closer is, is uh, look at the fine roots we have in this native rangeland, an abundance of fine roots all throughout this upper foot, really, of soil. Uh, when you look at this uh, hayland over here, very few fine roots, uh, an occasional larger root, but the abundance of roots is much higher on the native rangeland compared to the, uh, the hayland. Um, so we see just several characteristics that we also refer to as dynamic soil properties uh, that are different between the long-term rangeland versus the long-term hayland. And uh, so we see management and plant community having an effect on those properties that you have some kind of control over through management. So this all amounts to this next thing I want to talk about, and that's what effect do, do these different characteristics have on something like infiltration. So uh, when we were out here last fall, we we did measure the infiltration on this native rangeland compared to the hayland over there and uh, we did uh, five different samples on each site and the average uh, average time 
for the second inch of infiltration to infiltrate on the on the hayland was two hours and on the native rangeland well-managed native rangeland it was 12 minutes so there's a huge difference that all these factors have on the resulting infiltration much more rapid uh, infiltration on the native rangeland a time of only 12 minutes compared to uh, the hayland which was two hours average time so a big impact on the on the characteristics and the resulting uh, uh, combination of those characteristics now I mentioned there's an exception in the structure of this hayland that shows up better when we pull out a, a larger profile and we just want to look at that right over here so looking at this uh, long-term hayland on this side uh, compared to again the native range now when you look at these and just kind of break them apart a little bit you see all throughout that upper profile that nice granular structure again it easily breaks into little granules throughout that upper six inches but looking at a bigger larger profile you can see what happens here is we have what we call platy structure which is the, the soil is laying in horizontal plates uh, or layers and that's as a result of compaction over time due to traffic and just uh, poor porosity and the native uh, soil texture the silt loam texture lends itself well to developing these plates with management that that leads to that so you see these plates um, that form showing the compaction that has occurred over time and as well you can see the fine roots coming down throughout this profile over here lots of fine roots and kind of a not so many fine roots on this side over here on the hayland some larger roots but uh, not quite as, as many fine roots between the two profiles obviously management and the plant community uh, have an impact on the soil health out here on the grassland and you can see it's evident in the soil profiles and in the in the data we've collected. So hayland is not necessarily worse for soil health per se, but it depends on the combination of plant community and management. Hayland is typically a simple plant community comprised of only one to a few species. Based on the first soil health principle, plant diversity above ground results in diversity below ground. Hayland often does not meet that criteria. Also, hayland is typically harvested at the equivalent of 70% utilization or more, and all of that biomass is removed at each harvest. Instead of building up organic matter, much of it is removed off the site. So a simple plant community and severe management from a plant standpoint often results in reduced soil health on hayland. Soil health on hayland can be improved. For starters, the plant community can be made more diverse by planting a higher number of species. Secondly, hayland can be alternated between grazing and haying, and the cutting height can be increased in order to leave more biomass and cover on the site, as well as changing the timing of the principal harvest from year to year. Another management option for hayland is to do either bale or windrow grazing in the fall and winter right in the hayfield, as this will return much of the organic matter to the hayland. This option can also save the cost of moving the hay to storage and then feeding it out. Lastly, it comes back to the overall management of the operation and looking at how the animals are utilized as tools to achieve better soil health. It may be possible to reduce the acreage of hayland by increasing the amount of time the animals are grazing. Winter grazing is a viable option in many cases. To have a sustainable operation, it comes down to managing the animals we can see, as well as managing for the ones we can't see, to provide us with the healthy soils underpinning a successful enterprise. Mm -hmm.